this is your first time here, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued love and support, and I will try my best to keep creating things that are both entertaining, informative, and relaxing, <laughs> most importantly. So for today, I wanted to talk a little bit about self-reflection. Quarantine and this whole lockdown has really left us with so much time to ourselves and so much time with our thoughts. Some of us may be not too familiar with just being on our own all the time. I can definitely say this for myself. I am the type to really be go, go, go. I love being involved in so many different extracurriculars. I like hanging out with friends. I work part-time while doing full-time school, so I've always been the type to really pack my schedule, and I know that that has sometimes, you know, left me with not very much time to sit with my own thoughts. But since lockdown and this whole pandemic has started, I've been left feeling very, hmm, I guess more in tune with my own thoughts. I would say that I'm already quite an introspective person, but really this whole situation of having to be by myself has really really pushed me to think more and more about my own feelings and thoughts and I think especially I am in this weird stage of graduating soon, not having a plan soon, not knowing what I'm doing very very soon, even forces me to really really think about what is it that I want to do in my career. So I kind of wanted to give you a few prompts to kickstart your self-reflection if you haven't already or if you're looking to find ways to maybe access thoughts that you haven't really been considering, keep watching. So these are three plots that I've really been thinking about the last couple of months uh, and maybe this will prompt you to think about some of these aspects as well. So the very first one is what is my why? And when I mean why, I mean like W-H-Y, why? <laughs> and I got this prompt from my dance coaches. At dance, they asked us to start a journal that I have right here, actually. So everything's tumbling down. This is my dance journal. I actually used to use this journal for my poetry class that I took, I think, in second or third year. And basically, my coaches really, really wanted us to consider why we decided to pursue dancing or to work on dancing. And for me, because I was brand new to dance, this really, really helped me think about like, why did I feel such a drive to try something that I haven't really tried before? So for me, my why, let me, let me flip through this. I said that my why for dance is to learn and motivate my growth in dance from my teammates be in a space to express myself creatively, and to serve as an outlet for me to de-stress and focus on something else. So I wrote this why back in November of 2020, and this was a, it was a hard time because our team actually had just moved on to strictly virtual training because the restrictions didn't allow for us to go into studio to train together. So that very first one of my whys with regards to learning from my teammates, that one was definitely like impacted the most because I couldn't share space with my teammates. Of course, we were supporting each other through Zoom and online and on Instagram, but it was just a very, very big change. I really like this prompt because the key factor is to look back at your why when maybe somewhere along the way in your journey of whatever that is that you're pursuing and you're feeling unmotivated, you need to look back at your why to really reconsider why you wanted to learn this new thing in the first place. And I'm not saying your why can't change, your why can definitely change because I wouldn't even say that I'm the same person that I was yesterday. At least for me, it really pushes me to reconnect with why I wanted to do dance in the first place. And even though there are times where I feel so frustrated, I just cry my eyes out. I think about how dance for me is a creative outlet and that it's a space and a community for me at the very, very root of it. Think about your why and use this as a way to reconnect with your goals 
and your journeys, whatever they may be. My second prompt for you is what is something that you've wanted to pursue but haven't yet? And for me, that is actually music production or music mixing. Uh, I don't know, I've been getting really, really into sort of learning the ins and outs of how songs come to be. And it's very, very eye opening actually to see how so many things need to come together for that three minute song that you hear on the radio or on your Spotify. I think those little intricacies are often overlooked and so many people pour their heart and soul into creating that song and I really want to learn more about it. I want to know why things are done a certain way, why that reverb was placed there, why they decided to hit that staccato with the beat there, and I don't know, I just find it super amusing. But it's definitely not something that I have really, really been able to put time into learning. And I have to be honest, the reason why I haven't pursued it is because I haven't been prioritizing it. There are just a few other responsibilities that I currently prioritize over that. And it is a goal of my own to try to pursue and really work on this whole music knowledge. Um, as soon as I graduate. I know that YouTube is an amazing source for this, so I will probably consult YouTube first. And afterwards, I know that there are master classes or seminars that do teach more about music production and mixing, so I do want to take the time to do that in the future as well. I think it's important to think about things you want to do and identify the aspects of what may be preventing you from doing or achieving those goals and to have the capacity to really brainstorm ways, concrete steps of achieving that goal. And my last prompt for you today is who are your current role models? Especially if you're sort of doing different projects, try to have a role model for each of those different projects. I think that having a role model has always helped me push myself to grow. Even though I know it's never great to be copying a person or their style, I think it allows me to have a parameter to set and for me to almost allow myself to measure up to that parameter. Again, it's not that I think that you should always try to be someone else, but I think it's important to try to look for things that really push you and motivate you to grow. Having role models also allows me to draw from them uh, ways that I can integrate their styles into my own. My role model for YouTube is Joan Day. I just love the chill vibes of her vlogs. I'm nosy. I like to learn and discover what other people are doing. I just really like the way she speaks. I just think that she does really, really amazing things with her platform. So Joan Day is definitely my YouTube role model. In dance, my role model is one of my dance coaches, Joyce. She is absolutely amazing in using dance to communicate regardless of whether you speak the same language or whether you even speak at all. I think dance really is able to get across a lot of emotions and feelings that, that sometimes words can't express. And I just, I love the way she moves. There's, there's so much depth in her movement. She's so tiny, but she, she moves like, she can fill a whole room with her presence. And she's always talking about star quality and I, I very much resonate with that. I will leave a link here to Joyce's socials because you should definitely check her out. She's an amazing creator and I have so much respect and I'm so honored to have her as one of my dance coaches. And in terms of music, my music role model is BTS. I know that may sound really strange. They really use their music as a platform to communicate with their fans, to communicate with the world. I love that they truly have messages that resonate with people. Their whole entire Love Yourself discography is absolutely amazing because it really, for me at least, it touched me in the way that it pushes me to love myself, to 
put myself first in terms of the love and the, and the gratitude even. And I think BTS, because they create their own music, there's so much creative freedom with it, yet they use it to talk about social issues. They use it not in a way that only is for entertainment purposes, but they, they use it as a way to speak for themselves and others that maybe don't have the voice or the platform to speak with. So I love that there's such a deeper meaning to their music. I'm, I don't, I'm not Korean, I don't speak Korean, yet I, I love that their music transcends those barriers. So I want to be able to do that with music and hopefully with my music. However I do that, whether it's my voice, whether it's mixing things, I don't know. But I just love that music just goes hand in hand with so many aspects of my life. BTS is my music inspiration because they pour their heart and soul in their lyrics. The lyricism is so, so smart. And I'm just, I'm in awe whenever I read the translations because I can't speak Korean, so. And I'm, I'm sad that I don't speak Korean because I think a lot of things, a lot of nuances get lost in the translation, but I try to appreciate it as much as I can. And I'm trying to learn Korean, so if you have any Korean study tips, please send them over to me. I just poked myself. Korean, studying Korean is also one of the things that I want to be doing after I graduate, so Korean study with me. Maybe that's a series I will do. So those are my three prompts for you to really push your self-reflection to the next level. These are things that I think about myself. I have my own journal. I have so many journals, but this is a journal that I write in. I don't, I would not say that I write in it very, very frequently, but I do really love just jotting down my thoughts when I have them. Sometimes I just write like word blobs and I'll just like, my writing's tiny, so you can't read it anyway. Um, I'll just word vomit all over the page because, I don't know, I just, I really like doing that. So if you use these prompts to write in your journal entry, or maybe it's a, just like an internal conversation, don't be afraid to have those sort of conversations with yourself, or these are questions that you can ask your friends too to learn more about them. So. I think self-reflection is extremely important. I think it really allows for people to consider how far they've come and how much further they can go. I hope these help you with your self-reflection. If you have any comments or any thoughts, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear. Please reach out on socials if you ever want to chat about these things. Like I said, I'm nosy, but I'm also a really good listener, or I guess reader if you're messaging me. So, please feel free to reach out if you want to have a pal to chat with. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for listening or watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you very soon. Bye!